Peep of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as Peepla7 on Twitter and YouTube, Peepla elsewhere on the internet. My soaps located Purple Butterfly dash soaps.myshopify.com. My blog, Purple Butterfly dash peepla.blogspot.com. And it's time to wake up the tilted tiger swirl and cut it. Meantime, let's get these gloves on because they're being real stubborn today. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, I just cleaned up all the dishes it took to make that soap. So I'm going to put it over here so that way I can put it up. It's got to be out of the way. That includes my spoon bouquet. <laughs> okay. Yes, I put the soap to sleep with an actual blanket. <laughs> That's going to be the personal bar. I'm just going to literally cut it in half once it's cured. And then we're going to cut the rest of it. And cut it. I need to get... the shield when I made the soap yesterday because I couldn't find where I put this. It's usually right here. But apparently I put it right there and then forgot about it. And then I put all these oils here. So that's going to be in the way. I missed, I missed, I missed like this. I tick, I tick, I tick, tack, tack. I'm not going to even lie and say I got it in there because, yeah, it bounced. <laughs> Way away from the target. Mm. This is heavy. <laughs> Ah, okay. Of course, 
second there, but he thought it was going to be stubborn about coming out of there. Let's see it right at the tip. So, a little time, a little patience, a little gravity. Gravity is my friend, it's a curation. So it right on out, but today must be Saturday. Oh no, look at that, look at that, come on. Oh goodness. <laughs> the way I was acting, I thought maybe I spilt some of it and that would hold it in like a fulcrum, because that has happened before, but Nope, that's completely dry, so that's not the reason why it decided to be stubborn. He just didn't want to give up this gorgeous soap he had. Yum, yum, yum. Smell it? Yes. What about this side? Do you smell it? Ooh, that looks good. Seal on all sides. Otherwise, it's not going to come out of there. Learned that the hard way over the years. Now we just got to put the seal on the bottom. Got some air getting there. And that's when it just nearly releases. A whistle. Oh, that smell just hit me. I'm gonna have to have several bars of this for myself. Yeah, this is the scent I used to make my shampoo bars with. It's called Bamboo and Light Grapefruit. Oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have now. Even the bottom has some fun thing going on. Yeah. Let's turn this sideways and get rid of all that extra edges. Glad I chose lard. Lard will take a long time to set up, giving you more room for swirls, and then it gets hard as a brick real quick. So basically, you have a certain window of time to get the lard soap cut. But if you're making a complicated swirl, Nothing is going to be better for that soap than lard because it gives you that curing time. It gives you the working time. It gives you the swirling time. The only thing that will even come close would be tallow. And tallow is now mad expensive. Oh, come on. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. Ah, Lord here.
You ready for this? Tilted Tiger Swirl with five colors. Although the yellow is not trying to look yellow. <laughs> did put a little bit of um, a gold glitter to offset that yellow. Look at that side. And now you know why I went through all that trouble to get another Cheshire Cat. That tool aside from this makes this ha <laughs> ha is that amazing or what that's a triple layer mm -hmm. it's almost like a clamshell Tomato orange really came out looking good next to the lighter orange and the seafoam green, which I'm using to represent the bamboo, is really speaking out like, hey, I'm here too. And the yellow did indeed try to be the go away color. If you've ever made a tiger stripe, you'll know what that means. If not, just enjoy the reference. Every time I make a tiger stripe, one color will go away, especially in the middle, by trying to work with it. And another color will try to take over. And as you could tell, that green really took over. Mm. Even the sides got fun stuff going on. And the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with it being a little bit soft still, I don't have to use a bevel cutter to smooth out the edges. I'm just using my finger. And that smooths out any hardness that would have happened. And yeah, look at that. Between a great fit and a great pattern, I'm very happy, happy, happy. Tell a tilted tiger squirrel doesn't have any straight line stripes. All the stripes will be doing different things like swirling, tilting, but they all stay primarily together like that. But if you notice, it's making different swirls in the middle of just being striped. So instead of stripe, 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 or stripe, 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 it's going around in layers. See what I'm talking about? There's a layer there, there's a layer there, there's a layer there. Now 
Now the smaller stripes was when I first poured, they're thinner, and then as the soap got thicker, the stripes got thicker. So this one is doing a loop-de-loop, -loop, right? Wait till I turn it around. Is that cool or what? And last but not least. That is strictly the back. This is the part that the Cutter missed the entire bar, basically, just this much. It was supposed to be an end piece. But I'm going to leave it. And then we got this side. Yeah. But in the meantime, let's smooth out those edges. That way, when people get the soap, it doesn't feel like it's cutting their hand. People usually use a beveling tool or a um, vegetable pillar to get the same effect that I'm getting just by smoothing it because right now it's soft so don't have to worry about that very very sharp cut edge because we got that and this has been Pete the Sun on Twitter and YouTube oh let me do a ladder test right quick because I have enough soap on my hands for the ladder to show Nice and creamy. Yeah. Add more water, more bubbles. Yep. away quickly. Yes. Whew. That way you do. You know, not a lot of oils is snatched from the rinsing process because it's a moisturizing soap and it rinses away quickly so you don't have to keep going like this trying to get rid of the soap itself. I'm going to do a lather test on um a commercial brand and myself so you could um, see what I mean because um, people buy soap in the stores all the time that's fine I learned how to make my own in a way that doesn't break me out because basically most like 99% of commercial brands break me out I now know what they're using that causes that effect I know which chemicals they're using. I know which natural products they're using that's having a particular chain reaction, so forth, so on. The one soap I found that I don't break out to, and I love the scent, so I actually have a soap called Hugs that uses that same scent. I happen to notice, because I got one, uh, somebody gave it to me as a gift. You know, hey, let's give a soap maker a gift of soap ironic that didn't offend me I just thought it was funny but when I lathered it up I noticed something very very specific and I compared it with my soaps and went huh I'll do a lather test on camera to show the difference but that will be in another video this has been people seven on Twitter and YouTube people are elsewhere or on the internet my soaps locate purple butterfly Dash soaps dot my shopify dot com my blog purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com y'all stay blessed stay tuned the tilted tiger swirl has been cut next I'm gonna make a drunken tilted tiger swirl that's gonna look like this 
So everywhere that you have a different variation, and then you get a um, hanger swirl through the midst of it. So it'll go from this to this. Or some variation in between, because no two tiger swirls ever look alike, including a tilted tiger swirl or a drunken tiger swirl. So, yeah. That's kind of part of the fun of doing them. It's like, okay, I did this, I did that, I did this exactly the same as I did that. Now, let's cut it open and see what we're going to find inside. And it's always something different or amazing or, what? <laughs> this was a, what? <laughs> so, yeah. I am having too much fun with this, so, yeah. And then the scent of this is making me giddy. It's just, I'm too happy. In the meantime, I'm going to go and do the stuff I do. Um, and I got about three minutes before Colin. So I'm going to get off here. This has been People. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye now. Don't forget, Purple Butterfly Soaps located at Purple Butterfly dash soaks.myshopify.com my blog purple butterfly dash people that black spot that com y'all stay blessed stay tuned bye now the tilted tiger swirl has been cut and if you've seen the video where I said that one color tends to go away and one color tends to take over, you will understand that somewhere in here, there's some yellow. There's the yellow. There's the yellow. Hey, where did the yellow go? <laughs> ah, there it is. But it also stopped right through the middle. And then the green just took over. That's the fascinating thing about a tiger stripe, especially a tilted tiger stripe. But I ain't mad at it because it made this gorgeous ensemble. So, yeah. This has been Peepla.